great is he who's the king of kings and the lord of lords he is wonderful sing it with me great is he who's the king of kings and the lord of lords he is wonderful sing it with me great is he who's the king of kings and the lord of lords he is wonderful hallelujah hallelujah salvation and glory honor and power he is wonderful come on the hallelujah salvation and glory honor and power he is wonderful great is he great is he who's the king of kings and the lord father god in the name of the lord jesus christ we are so grateful we thank you for your word we will never take you for granted lord minister to your people me and pastor amy we lift your wonderful people up before you this morning you know exactly everything that's going on in their lives we pray you step in like a lion god with the word of god and bring strength to your people bring encouragement to your people put the devil on the run he is a liar and the father of all lies give your people the victory this morning through the word of god give them the victory god the frustrating and stressful situations that they are facing Give them the victory, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody say amen. Glory to God. Good morning to you, saints of the Most High God. So good to be back with you again on this morning. As we continue the series, Born to Win, the next, for the rest of this week, we will continue in the psalms psalms of comfort psalms of strength psalms of encouragement so on this morning i want to take you into the book of one of my favorites one of yours too psalm chapter 91 the bible says he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. My, my, my. Are you trusting in him this morning? Come on, somebody. Are you trusting in God this morning? Surely, affirmatively, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence he is a deliverer he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be your shield and buckler the truth is the word of god the truth of scripture his truth will be your shield and buckler greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. If God be for you, who can be against you? Praise God. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. Upon this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Lord, have mercy. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. Thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flies by day. God said, it didn't matter when the enemy come against you. I got you. Could be in the midnight hour. Could be early in the morning. God said, I got you. 
nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at your right hand. And God is saying, it shall not come nigh thee. I'm going to keep you. I'm going to watch over you unless it's your time. Only with your eyes, only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou has made the Lord. Here it comes. Because thou has made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. You have made God your dwelling place. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Lord have mercy. The righteous run therein and they are safe. You have made the Lord which is even the most high your habitation, your dwelling place. You've made up your home with God. You learn how to seek him night and day. You learn how to walk with him day in and day out. Therefore, there shall no evil. Some will lift your hands to heaven and say, no, 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 no evil. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Wow. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. The Bible says the angels of the Lord encamp round about those who fear him and delivers them. Glory to God. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. When Jesus was, after, when he was being tempted in the wilderness, the Bible says the angel came. An angel came and strengthened him. Come on, somebody. When he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, dealing with his sweat becoming like blood, an angel, a great angel came down and strengthened him. Abraham saw angels. When Paul was in a storm, an angel appeared unto Paul and said, Paul, fear thou not, for you are going to be rescued and everyone on this ship. Not one single life will be lost. The angels, he'll give his angels charge over thee and they'll keep thee in all thy ways. When Peter was locked up in prison and was scheduled to be assassinated the next day, God sent an angel and smote Peter on the side and woke him up and put all the other jailers to sleep and walk out of there with the apostle Peter. He will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. It's the devil and his demons. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and out of the young lion, and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and absolutely nothing shall by any means hurt us. Absolutely nothing shall by any means hurt us. Glory to God. Because he has set his love, because he had set his love upon me. God says, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? The word salvation means deliverance. God knows what he is doing. God is your protector this morning. He's watching over you, saints. The Bible says he doesn't sleep. He doesn't slumber. I love the song that says, His eyes are on the sparrow. And I know 
He's watching over me. God's got your back this morning. He wants you to trust him. And for the next few days, I just want to keep reading to you from the book of Psalms. There are times we are facing heartache, that pain, trials, and tribulation. And I go into the book of Psalm, and as I begin to read those same scriptures, you talk about comfort. You talk about strength. You talk about encouragement. God knows exactly what he's doing. I surrender. And on this morning, I want to give someone the opportunity to make things right with God. He loves you with an everlasting love. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. He loves you this morning. He's welcoming you into his kingdom. He have his arms open wide. In reverence to God, I want you to bow your head and close your eyes and say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you died on Calvary Cross for me. I believe they buried you in a borrowed tomb. But on the third day, God raised you from the dead. You are now seated at God's right hand. And soon and very soon, you are coming again. From this day, I turn my back on the world, the flesh, and the devil to serve the true and living God and his son, Jesus Christ. If you prayed that prayer with me and meant it with all of your heart, your sins have been forgiven. Your sins have been forgiven. You are now a child of God. The Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things are become new. We have that information on the screen. Scan the QR code and download that booklet. First steps in a new direction. We talk about the importance of prayer, which is simply talking to God. We encourage you to download our ministry app because on that app we have several free translations of the Bible. Pick one of those translations that's easy for you to read and understand. And we encourage you to read the Gospel of John, which is a very simple book to understand. If you live in the DFW area, we are launching Miracle Healing Center Church, May the 21st, Sunday, May the 21st, at 10 a.m., 1351 South Harden Boulevard, McKinney, Texas, 75071. Come and join us, and we are going to have a wonderful time and experience the presence and the power of God. If you don't live in this area, find a powerful local church. Go to that pastor and tell him, you have given your life to Jesus and you want him to teach you the word of God and you want to be a part of that local church, you would make that pastor's day. There's a lot for you to learn. There's power in numbers. One of you will chase a thousand and two of you will put 10,000 to flight. Oh, we love you so much. Listen, to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. The ministry cash app address is the dollar sign, Sean Pinder, 
Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Never forget me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy. We love you. We appreciate you so much. And if you've never subscribed to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button and then click that small gray bell that turns on your notifications and it guarantees that every morning when we release our new morning devotion, our new morning prayer broadcast, you would be notified and receive that. Do the same. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Connect with us. We don't want you to miss these broadcasts. We love you. We will pick up as we continue this week in the book of Psalms, Born to Win. In the book of Psalms. We love you. We appreciate you. See you again on tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. We invite you to join us for the opening celebration of Miracle Healing Center in McKinney, Texas on Sunday, May 21st at 10 a.m. Miracle Healing Center is a church dedicated to loving people and demonstrating the power of God. We believe that allowing the Holy Spirit to have His way during our meetings will lead us to receiving faith and fresh inspiration for our spiritual journey. We welcome people of all backgrounds and ages to become part of our family. Come out to Cockrell Middle School on May 21st in McKinney and celebrate with us.